Okay. If I remember to upload this, this is the end of the stream. Dora Dugan. We've been fighting him for how long now? An hour and a half. I think we've been fighting him for an hour and a half. <clears throat> I say fighting him. Watching him clank around. He's incredibly annoying. He heals himself. But he is dying. He's near death. But the stream reached. 11 hours, 55 minutes. So, hopefully, I remember to upload this after the fact. So anyone watching the VOD doesn't miss out on his demise. Because that would be a real shame. One and a half hours, give or, give or take five minutes, Jeremy says. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. I think we started fighting him 20 past 12 my time, which is pretty ridiculous. I should have just gone to bed. But I couldn't back down. I couldn't back down. And now I'll pay the price. I have to get up in six hours. <laughs> but he must die. He has to die. He has to die. I refuse. let him survive until tomorrow. Imagine if when he dies he does like a nuclear explosion. That'd be cool. <clears throat> You're guessing he's dead in the next three minutes. Um... That's ambitious. That's ambitious. That's really ambitious. The next three minutes. <clears throat> he hit near death. When did he hit near death? Like... 15, 16 minutes ago. So if he wasn't healing, if he wasn't healing, he would be dead now, roughly. But he is healing. In the past, his healing has basically doubled his health. On average, he's healing about half of the damage we deal to him. Maybe 20 minutes ago, you did a dungeon run completely in WoW with it near death, and you've been out 10 minutes now. I'm basing it on the chat logs. Um, I think you're right, it was 20 minutes. <clears throat> <laughs> totally Jeremy. <laughs> he 
return to near death, according to my chat log, which today they've updated YouTube to put the time of the messages. Never used to do that until today. Don't know if you guys have noticed that, but it's new, or it's new to me at least. But anyway. Uh Sitter said yay at 1.42. And that was when he went to near death. <clears throat> so that was 18 minutes ago. Which means Delhi is pretty good at doing dungeon runs in WoW. It also means he should be dead in the next five to ten minutes, I reckon. Five to ten minutes. I'm gonna roll a celebratory smoke. And he should be dead before I finish it. To be fair, you're on heroic run. I haven't played WoW in years. I got no idea what that means. I thought about trying um, WoW Classic. I think I'd quite enjoy WoW Classic. The only problem is, WoW Classic, back in the day, was such a time sink. Such a time sink. So I don't think I'd like normal World of Warcraft these days. But classic, which is what? Pre-Burning Crusade. That was really when WoW was at its best. Hunter quest line to get the really good bow. They just released Burning Crusade Classic Mode one or two weeks ago. Oh, really? Burning Crusade was alright. I really preferred WoW before there were any expansions though. But I do remember the event when um, the Burning Crusade first came out. I remember it well. And the demons invaded through the portal. It was really, really cool. time. close to death. He just has to be. I'm really worried he's gonna pull some uber shenanigans. Mike says, I'm playing classic and yeah, being in a top tier guild requires a lot of time to get the gear you want and the hunter quest is awesome. You did it two weeks ago. Yeah, it's super rad, right? It's super, super rad. This is going to be a classic Callum comment. 
But I remember soloing. Uh, you wonder, does loot in this game scale with difficulty? Good question. Good question. <clears throat> I know you actually had to solo quite a lot of the Hunter Quest. If anyone else tried to join the fight, <clears throat> it would um, turn the enemy into like a ghost. <clears throat> but it was cool with the Hunter Quest. Like, it challenged all the different parts of being a hunter. <coughs> like there was that one dude who you had to kite around the entire winter spring was it? You had to kite a demon around winter spring. And if he got within like 15 meters of you or something, you just died. And I think he could only be damaged by arcane shot. It's really tough to do on a PvP server. The amount of times I was doing that. <clears throat> the worst part of that though, when you had to kill the demon by kiting it across Winter Spring, was A, had to watch out for Alliance people trying to kill you because it was a PvP server, but B, people would try and help. They'd see you running from this enemy and kiting it. And they'd go, don't worry, I'll help. And they'd attack it. And it'd reset. The amount of times that happened to me. Doing the Hunter quest line in a WoW back in the day. The amount of times people reset my Hunter quest boss fights. Anyone who's done it will know what I mean. Everyone else will have no frickin' idea. But it was beyond frustrating. Right, he should die in the next couple of minutes now. I'm confident. That he'll be dead in the next five minutes. I believe it, with two-thirds of my heart. Hopefully we get some cool loot. Hopefully we get some cool XP. Imagine if when he dies, he splits into five smaller robots. That'd actually be a worst case scenario. The loot in this game is somewhat randomised. Important loot isn't randomised, but all the random, well, all the random shit, but like generic quests and stuff have got randomised loot. so I can go to bed. 
please? Please? Oh, Jesus. Baby Jesus. Please kill Dory Dugan in the next couple of minutes. Oh man. You gotta keep your prayers simple. That's the trick. Officially out of things to say. I'm Twelve hours into this stream. It's had many ups and downs. I just want this guy dead. <clears throat> Super one shot mechanic is coming, be careful. Sitter, I don't know whether to believe you or not. Increase my armor rating just in case. <clears throat> thinking about that. <coughs> I think your best bet would maybe be to dig trenches that spell out what you want to say. But a lot of them, and then fill them with either plant matter or animal corpses. But you'd have to do many of them, and you'd have to do them in a variety of places. And then you could read them by seeing the uh, differences in the, what's it called? What's it called? The different layers. The different layers of the earth. Because they can tell that stuff, right? That's how they figure out the timeline, it's like the different layers of the ground. So dig a trench that spells out what you want to say and fill it. He's dead! And 
and fill it with matter from one specific era. He's dead! He's actually dead! Oh my god. Victory! That's right. Our one true foe is gone. Let us level up. Let's pick a random weapon, we don't really care. Well, well, well. What did I get? You mean when I leveled up, or what do we get from his corpse? We're about to find out. Make sure we're stealthed. I ain't taking no chances. <clears throat> Already. Hellfire Ironclad's core. Grant's charge core. The wielder powers up the core, making it unstable, but gaining a bonus to power level. Shortly after activation, the user explodes. A mythical Adra stone. Don't really know what we can do with that, but that's fine. And a bunch of crap. Tell you what, though, we don't have a trinket yet. Suits me, don't you think? <clears throat> now it says we explode. Very interesting. I don't particularly want to explode. But it is a faux AoE, so it shouldn't hurt us. Plus two to power levels is really nice. That's like an extra 10% damage. If we use that, and then we use an ability. I agree, that is some weak source. I was hoping for some armor or something. It was a bit underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. But maybe, just maybe, there's a bunch of other bosses. Maybe if you get all of their stuff, you can combine them to make something really cool. That'd be nice. However, I am going to call it a day there. I'm really tired. Really, really tired. We killed him. It's done. It's never happening again. It totally wasn't worth it. Sitter is incorrect. It was 100% not worth it. Two hours. But... I had a good job, a good, a good time, and I did a good job. Granted, <clears throat> I didn't really do shit, but that's the genius of the strategy. That's the genius of the strategy. You don't have to do shit. No, save. Awesome. I have 10 hours more recording room. 
Totally. Right. I will catch you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your nights. Or mornings. Or whatever. Good night.